a job like this it's pretty cool to have a crane because you got all kinds that's a nice dogwood you got a fence you got the neighbor's trees you got another fence kind of nice to just pick things up and magic carpet them out and away just like the movers one place to the next new location new life new death What'd you say? Keep going. I just did a killer floater pick. Had the camera right up out there and uh, never hit record. But anyway, here's the aftermath of perfection. right over there that we're watching out for these are quite big limbs quite heavy going out we headed for the Sun like that thing that's huge so there's less limb weight on the back side here where the Sun has a good setting so what we'll do is we'll actually hook this next thing this one and that one and I don't know if you'll hear me above all the noise, but I want to show you how you can try to get better balance on a pick like this. So phototropically speaking, it's gained weight toward the light. These big limbs. That thing's huge. These are, these are big husky limbs here. And on this side, we don't have much weight because the the sun hasn't been setting on that side been setting on this side the path of the sun been going like this making the tree heavy this way so what we can do is we can hook the limbs on this side for the next day. this limb maybe that big fatty bear this way we can use the trunk as ballast weight for all of this. Because if we just hooked it on the trunk right here, all of this weight would make it tip. We would get something like this. Which is okay if you know where to stand. But if you hook on this side and you use this as ballast, then it's more likely the, the pick will be more stable and more of a floater when it comes off. Meaning it'll hold more of the attitude it had on the tree when you cut it. So this way, all that tipping weight of the limbs should be offset a little by all this trunk weight so we may even get a little bit of this but what I'm hoping is basic perfection
it's almost perfect. Tying it out there on the limbs. And it still tips a little bit that way. That's the power of limb weight. Remember that when you're falling a tree or trying to judge whether you can get it where you want. So this isn't strong enough to crank up on, but it might be if I hook onto that afterwards. out the limbs a little bit. That little limb up there would have just broke off if it wasn't backed up by the next big one down. camera lies but that's a heavy pick <laughs> 